Rick Hong here for Hollywood First Look Features. Tonight, we are at the premiere for The Burnt Orange Heresy. The movie stars Class Bang, Elizabeth Debicki, Donald Sutherland, and Mick Jagger. Let's take a first look. You're not really how I imagine an art critic would look. Can't tell me you never wanted to paint. <laughs> Seriously, what did you want to be when you were a kid? Well, I was never a kid. You're one of those. On the wedge. A liar. Yeah. Ever heard of Joseph Cassidy? The art dealer? Mm-hmm. Been invited to his estate. You got rich friends. If you could interview any living artist, who do you think it would be? At the edge of my property, there's a dilapidated little house. In this house, there's an artist. No critic has spoken to this guy in over 50 years. Jerome Debney. It's an honor, Mr. Debney. Think of the splash it would make. See and describe his current work. No, no, no. I cannot abide such things. You could be running a major museum soon. And why would you do this for me? I'd value a Debney James. And I'd like you to procure one for me. The book is very different from the script, so I don't know if you like, refer to the book that much while you're getting prepping for the film. Well, I read the script first and then the book. Uh, it is different in the way that it's... The book, well, is set in the 70s in Florida. Uh, we moved it to Italy, and uh, the, the main difference is the character of Berenice in the book is... Um, she's very marginal. And we, we, we made the proper character of her. So then, is it comforting for you as a filmmaker? Because you're Italian, I believe. I am. <laughs> so to be able to shoot in Italy, I mean, is that like kind of an advantage to say, oh, you know what, I'll do this movie, you know, like Lake Cuomo, Italy, yeah, let's do it. Yeah, yeah, because I use my, my usual crew, so they're more like family. And they know me, they know what I want, and we don't need to talk much and waste time in endless meetings. Um, so yeah, it was definitely my comfort zone. How about this cast? You got Clace, you have Elizabeth Debicki, you have Mick Jagger and Donald Sutherland. I mean, like, how how was like wrangling all them and doing a movie together with them? I knew. I mean, I was very lucky. Um, you know, it's it's a chance of a lifetime to work with such you know an amazing cast, and um, they were all they're all very gentle souls, I must say. So it was very smooth. Um, project and, and film and I really only have good memories. My question is like you sign up for a movie and you find out that Mick Jagger's gonna be in it, Donald Sutherland's gonna be in it, you have some great scenes, I mean Elizabeth's great too. So like how was it working with everybody? It was amazing, I mean I, what, what, what really drew me to it in the first place was mainly the, all those scenes with uh, with the James and Berenice because I was like it's so f***ing weird and twisted and, and I just wanted to find what's going on here and I just couldn't wait to start shooting those scenes so that was actually and then Mick Jagger came on board and then I mean so it was like crazy f yeah. So I've noticed with your credits there are some other previous movies where you're in the art world yeah. so did that help you prepare for this one like or, or are you more maybe of an art aficionado? I said in the art world that's all I do no, obviously, the square, all the research I did for that sort of did something for this as well. With the square, the art thing was something that sort of had a, had a bigger effect on the, on, on the whole thing. And here, that he's an art critic is just a, a, actually just an, a job description. It's just, it's not really, it doesn't, it doesn't do much for the whole thing. Do you know what I mean? It's like... It's more, I mean, what kind of, what, what is this guy? And, and, and the art critic thing is actually just a job description. And I don't think you're, at, I mean, you're never your job description. You're, yeah, your 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 personality, your your that thing. So it was more important for me to sort of, the thing that I really went with here was that he's like so super ambitious. And that really gets him into a lot of trouble because he's he really wants to get back into the game, right? But I can totally relate to being very ambitious. And I always look for stuff in parts that I do that I can connect with, something that resonates with me. Because I have this idea that then I can actually perhaps bring a bit more authenticity to it. 
The movie's in theaters March 6. Until next time, I'm Rick Hong, and you've been watching Hollywood First Look Features. What is this about? Redemption, embezzlement, and forgery. Kind of underhanded, don't you think? You know what we need to do. Most people are not what you'd expect. You know, don't you? I won't. It's true.